Hello and welcome to this episode of Luminar News. My name is Jacob Bors and I'm here to bring you up the speed with the latest Luminar updates. Just before we're going to start, I want to remind you to subscribe to our channel to make sure that you don't miss one of our future episodes or updates. Skylum just released new update for Luminar Neo with the number 1.6.0. This last update for 2022 brings a new extension, dozen of improvements and bug fixes. In this video, first we're going to look at the list of all the updates and improvements. After that, I'm going to show you how to make sure you run the latest version of Luminar Neo and if not, how to update it. And finally, at the end, we're going to jump into Luminar Neo and test all the new features directly in the application. So the first big news covering the Magic Light AI extension. This seventh professional paid extension for Luminar Neo allows you to control multiple light sources in your photo. The neural network at the core of the Magic Light AI analyzes the photo and looks for any points emitting the light. It then lets you to make them more intense, add beams and adjust the glow. It works the best with artificial light sources such as light bulbs, street lights and decorative lights. There are also multiple sliders that give you even more control over the result. Now, if you want to learn how to use this tool, we have a full tutorial covering all the sliders available on our YouTube channel. And I will make sure that I will put the link to this video in the corner of the video now. In this new update, you will also get additional support for the new cameras, including the Fujifilm X-T5, Fujifilm X-H2, Nikon Z30, OM Digital, OM5, and the Hasselblad X2D 100C. With the next update, we will move into the presets module. There, on the top of it, you get the AI powered for this photo feature, and it will now also offer you one preset collection available from the Luminar Marketplace. This will help you to discover and experiment with the new products and what is good on it is that it will show you the type of products suitable for the type of photography you're doing. Also, the monthly creative assets you get as a part of your X membership are now even more comfortable to download and use. You will get your presets, skies, LUTs and overlays directly in Luminar Neo app. Last but not least, the undo and redo option is now also available for the erase tool. At the top of it, Skylon fix number of bugs for Luminar Neo to make sure that it works even more smoothly. As always, if you want to learn about all the new updates, visit their website skylon.com slash what's new slash Luminar Neo. Now, before we go going to continue, I want to quickly tell you about our brand new Luminar Neo Winter Bundle. For a little fee, you will get over 860 new winter elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. You will get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, LUTs and presets to transform your winter images with just a few clicks. To add even more value to this product, you will get the festive mini bundle with warm, nostalgic and festive theme assets. To find out more about this product and get the best available price, you can follow the link in the description of this video or visit our website directly at cleverphotographer.com. And now it's time to have a look at the ways of how we can make sure that we are running the latest version of Luminar Neo. Now, as you can see, I'm in the application and the first thing we want to do is to check what version we have right now. To do that, we're going to navigate to the top left corner of the screen and click on the Luminar Neo logo. Once you do that, you will see that we have a list of options here and we want to go for the About Luminar Neo on the top. Click on it and that will open a new window here and you can see that currently I'm running the Luminar Neo Update 5 with the version 1.5.1. So since the new version is 1.6.0, we know that we need to update our software. So let's close this, click on the red little button, and then go back to the corner again and click on the logo again. Inside, click on the check for updates, 
and that will open a new window where you can see that it says a new version of Luminar Neo is available and the Luminar Neo 1.6.0 is now available. All you need to do is to click on install update and it will start to download the update and extracting it. Once the update is downloaded and extracted, it's gonna prompt you with a new message saying that it's ready to be installed. There is only one option here, so let's click on install and relaunch. So that is our update finish. We are back in Luminar Neo and all that is left is to just double check that we have the new version. For this, again, top left corner of your window, Luminar Neo logo, about Luminar Neo, and on the new window, you can see that we now running Luminar Neo update six with the version 1.6.0. Just close it and you can start to use the application. And finally, in this part of this video, we're gonna be looking at the new features and updates directly in Luminar Neo. So the first thing we need to start with is the Magic Light AI extension. So first of all, how can you get it? Now the Magic Light AI is a professional paid extension for Luminar Neo. Currently, there are three ways to get it. You can purchase it as an individual extension, or you can purchase it as a part of the extension pack 2022, or you can also get it as a part of your professional Luminar Neo subscription. If you wanna see how to subscribe, how to purchase the extension pack or the individual extension, you can follow the links in the description of this video. After you get the extension, open the Luminar Neo and make sure that it's on the latest update. Once you do that, navigate to the catalog module and then head to the top right corner of your screen. Click on the extras button and it will open the extension window. Here, scroll down and it's the seventh extension. You can see it here, the magic light. And if you already purchase it, all you need to do here is to click on the install button. So click on it and it will just take a few seconds and it will be installed. Once that's done, you will be prompt with the install button and you can now close this window. After this, we're just gonna select one of the examples here. So let's click on this and move it into edit module. In the edit module, we're gonna be navigating towards our main toolbar and look for the extension section. Here, you're going to see the magic light AI and all you need to do is to click on it to open it. Once again, if you wanna learn how to use this tool and get the most out of it, make sure that you watch our full tutorial available on our YouTube channel now. Anyway, just very quickly, all you need to do here is to move into the intensity slider and just increase it so you'll start to see the effect appearing on the image. After that, you have a list of the adjustments here. You can adjust the size, you can adjust the beam width, you can adjust the overall glow, you can adjust the clearness, also the brightness, and then you can adjust the number of the beams. So let's say from seven all the way to 24, and you can also rotate the beams around. This is really exciting extension and tool coming to Luminar Neo, which can be used on multiple projects, and I'm sure it's gonna be very popular amongst the photographers. There are three more things to mention. First, you can use the Magic Light AI extension as a part of the standalone edition of Luminar Neo, and also the plugin version with applications like Lightroom, Photoshop, or Apple Photos. Number two, make sure that you use the masking with this tool as it will give you additional creative possibilities. And to top it off, don't forget that you can close the tool and then open it again and apply it as many times as you want to adjust different parts of the photo with different settings. The next update is focusing on the presets module. Here, when you navigate to your main toolbar and the top of it, you will see the for this photo option. What it actually does, the Luminar Neo scans the image and then gives you suggestion on what preset or preset collection you should use. When you scroll through the list now and get to the end, you will also see presets or assets suggested from the Skylums marketplace. So those are things you could purchase additionally. It's a good way to discover new products suggested based on your type of photography. And finally, the last update focusing on the undo redo option for the erase tool. Well, we are in an edit module, so we can test it here. First of all, let's zoom to the window here 
and we're gonna remove some of these stars. For that, we need to go into our main toolbar, essential section, and then erase tool. Open it, and now we just need to select what we wanna remove. So we're gonna select the first star and just click on erase. It takes a second and it removes the star. After this, let's say that we want to remove another one. So one stroke, another stroke, and erase. It removes it too. Now, what if I made a mistake and I didn't actually want to remove this star? Previously, I would have to reset the tool and start from beginning. But now you can just hit Command or Control Z on your keyboard and it will undo the action. In fact, it doesn't just work for the entire action, it also works for the strokes. So let's say that I select this star, one and two. And now when I made a mistake with a stroke, I can just hit Command Z and it will remove one stroke. And again, Command or Control Z and it will remove another stroke. And I can continue, Command Z and it will remove the stroke on the other star. And again, Command Z and it will remove another stroke. So the undo and redo option is now available for the erase tool with the keyboard shortcuts Command or Control Z or the Command, Control, Shift and Z. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.